DJ Mojave back with the CCTV Spring Affair, uh, having a spotlight on one of our local artists. He's actually a cool DJ, a producer, um, goes by, you have a lot of different hats, and he goes by the name of Cruz, Cruzito, Jorge. Uh, welcome to uh, Spring Affair, Jorge Galvez. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, you're, you got a cool thing going on. You started it back in 2006 or 2007? As a DJ, or are we talking about the event? Oh, your event, first of all. Uh, then we'll definitely get back to your journey as a DJ. Okay. Uh, the event, uh, the Unity event that we, are, uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, it started in 2006. Wow. However, there's a misconception that a lot of people know or don't know. Uh, they... They think I started with Unity on, in 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I was actually their first guest DJ. Oh, please describe your monthly event that goes on now called Unity in Boston. Describe that for people who don't know. All right, so uh, Unity is uh, it's a monthly event. Uh, it happens the third Friday of every month. Third Friday, okay. Uh, we're pushing, we're trying, we're trying to get an extra Friday, so we're trying to do it twice a month. So uh, Unity, it's it's been around since two, 2006. Mm -hmm. The uh, original founders, uh, Francesco Spagna and, mm -hmm. and Enrique, uh, started. They had, they had me back then as, a, as their first guest DJ. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, right after my set, I'm, and I'm not lying, the night ended on a high note. Uh -huh. the, even the owner came over and like, dude, you won a night. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, in 2012, uh, Enrique had left um, Unity. Right. Because, you know, he was uh, following his career. Yep. He uh, got married. Married. And okay. moved to another state. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. So, Francesco did Unity by himself for one year straight. So, um, he invited me to come and DJ. And at the end of the night, he asked me, he's like, listen, I'm doing this by myself. And you were my first guest DJ. We have something. We, we connected at one point. We have the same taste of music. We kind of like have the same mixing style. Right. Would you be interested in helping me out? I was like, you know, let's, uh, like, yeah, sure. I would love to just get this to uh, maybe to uh, uh, we visualize. He visualizes going a different direction. Oh. He, um, he announced me as being in, in late 2012. I'm going to say November probably as being part uh, as a resident. Okay, okay, okay. So since then, I've been... To now. You know. Wow. So I do a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, graphic design and photography. Great, low, and, uh, great stuff too. And I help with that. And I think, and I've been saying it for years to a lot of you guys, mm -hmm. you know, I've been saying it for years, uh, uh, visuals, um, when it comes to events, uh, it's very attractive. I mean, if, if you visualize it, if you if you if you put it in, in, in uh, now, obviously in social media, on the internet, and mm -hmm, website, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, and it's if it's attractive enough to people to be like, listen, I want to be part of it. Were you a DJ before that? Were you? Uh, did you, were you? I mean, how long did it? You know, have you been DJing? I've been. Um, it's funny because I think all of us. Uh, including yourself, I'm sure. We all, <laughs> we all started at, at a young age. I'm almost 45 years old. Wow. And you look good. <laughs> and uh, we all probably started the same way, just playing uh, like a house party mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. or a friend's gig. Is that how you got your start? Yes, yes, I actually did. And, and funny enough, uh, I wasn't playing house at the time. I was doing hip-hop. Okay. But it's funny because Francesco... His background it kind, kind of started the same way. He was, you know, uh, an Italian guy who grew up with, you know, a hardcore uh, Italian immigrant mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. and, and he heard, the, the, you know, the pop Italian music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he started collecting his records oh, and okay. whatever. And it wasn't until he was in uh, Penn State, I believe, uh, that he had a roommate who had a turntable and mixers oh. and they would throw parties and I I believe he said that back then all of his vinyl was hip hop how long did it take you from that first moment you you, you got that 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 bug that you said you felt confident and ready to share it at, you know going out in the club or in a it took it took a while oh yeah especially because coming back to Boston mm -hmm. after college uh, coming back to not knowing you know 
what kind of community was going on. All right. So uh, once I got to know people, once mm -hmm. I got to go out, and mm -hmm. once I got to uh, make friends that love dancing, like back at the uh, old Narcissus, the first time I DJ for a crowd was, and I, I'll give props uh, where they need to be given uh, with uh, Bruno. Oh, really? Okay. Utopia. When he m started Utopia again at. Into a newer? No, it was the place near. Um, was it in Faneuil Hall? Near Faneuil Hall. Yeah. The the upstairs? Yeah, upstairs. Yep, yep. Have you shared stuff? Are you sharing stuff or going beyond just the DJing? And uh, are you doing any other things besides those things? Any um, producing in your. Uh, yeah. Producing? I, was, I started to do production. Jesus, it's, it's been a while. Okay. Since I, you know, remixes here and there. Mm -hmm. you know. Can people find you know a lot of it, or some of your your mixes or anything else of you uh, online digitally? Yeah, I have a, I have an account on SoundCloud. I think is the most popular. What is it listed under? It's listed on the cruise. Okay, just not DJ Cruz, just Cruz. C R C R U Z Z. Two Z's. Why have you? I mean, why have you been doing all this for so long? Like the DJing, the photography. Is there a goal? I mean, do you have bigger, you know, endeavors? What you know? What? No, I've I've been very blessed uh, to have experienced good events mm -hmm. uh, as a DJ. Uh, I was invited to play in Mexico with Yehuro Africa with mm -hmm. Adam Gibbons. And, uh, I play in New York, uh, in Phoenix, you know, Arizona. And I've been very blessed without people knowing who I was. Mm. You know what I mean? And, uh, and making new friends and you know, uh, meeting new people mm -hmm. in all aspects of life, not just music and DJ. And I just see myself providing, like me and right. Francesco say, okay. we just provide a place for people to come and just enjoy a night. So, so for the people who, who might have missed it, wh when is your when is your next upcoming event? The, actually, it's in a couple of days. It's uh, July seventeenth, mm -hmm. this Friday. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any guest DJs because the oh. budget is. Uh, it's okay. You know. I mean, uh, you've actually had some really good DJs. And, and, and again, it goes back to that you know visualizing what the future of Unity was going to be back then in two thousand and twelve. Mm -hmm. These are a lot of finds by Francesco. Francesco does a lot of the. Uh, Booking. The booking, you mm -hmm. know. I, I kind of took charge of, obviously, the design part, you know. Well, you both kind of complement each other very well. So, uh, there's one thing that I do like to mention. And, and, Absolutely, go uh, for it. And Francesco and I at Unity, we believe uh, in giving back. And not giving back necessarily to the community. Like, you would think, you know, oh, we're talking money now. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, uh, we all, we both of us had a chance. Somebody gave us a chance to... Not necessarily shine, but they gave us a chance to be part of the booth, be part of a club, not a house party, be mm -hmm. part of a crowd mm -hmm. and get judged and play music that we feel here and mm -hmm. not something that is hot at the time. You okay. know what I mean? Right, right. Um, so we feel that uh, giving back, it's getting some of the local talent okay. who a lot of them don't give that chance. You know what I mean? True, true. So once in a while, we love to invite people uh, like uh, Mizan. DJ Mizan is, to myself, uh, to, to me, he's one of the most underrated DJs in the city. True. And he should be playing more. Shout out to Lamont. Lamont. Very cool. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Leo Larcon, obviously, he's Leo. shining right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You know, those things, given that chance, I mean, who knows? You What's going to happen after that? Yeah. You know? And they're very, very cool. talented. So the next one is in a couple of days. You said July seventeenth, yeah, which is a Friday, Friday and now uh, everything is starting at nine, right? Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Okay. Yes. We usually don't stop playing until ten because uh, obviously you know people are still kind of dining. The good life. It's 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 a sort of restaurant and uh, downstairs starts earlier, but we moved upstairs. But you go until two, right? We go until uh, two in the morning. Very cool, man. Thank you so much, Absolutely. Cruise Thank with two Z's. No, man, I like that. I like that. Uh, did it, was that the bad arm? I'm sorry if I did that. No, no, it was, <laughs> it was a good show. Though. All right. So uh, I'll definitely see you on the dance floor and um, definitely support local dance music if you can in the city of Boston. Um, shouts out to the whole Unity crew. Francesco, you're going to get you in here next time, all right? Sure. Thank you. Back to more music right here on CCTV.